present for you. <laughs> yeah. That goes to the chipper. <laughs> I'm gonna re-gift it. <laughs> yeah. All right, YouTube audience, uh, if you're with me. Cedar's coming out. This is coming out too, but I'm gonna use it as a rigging spar for now. Uh, they can cut it off at the base and rig it whole down and process it. I'll be up here patiently waiting. Here, catch it. Oh, YouTube, cool. Say hello to Jeff, YouTube. <laughs> the beast is back <laughs> all right so Jeff first time using the jailbreak the way you use this pretty self-explanatory like you said is you have to go through the top fair lead if you wanted minimal friction uh, you would come down to the bottom and then just go like that and then if you wanted maximum friction you would use more things you kind of fine-tune it better with that one on yeah so that would be maximum friction and then if you're like oh maybe I don't want max so one thing to be careful with this that I figured out on my own was that if you have a you're under load and you're like it's too heavy or, or there's too much friction I need to take some friction off you can't just take a wrap off so I went to do that and it went ping and I was like, whoa! And I had like so what's pretty much no friction, right? What's the solution then? Uh, so the solution I think is to get your wraps right in the beginning. <laughs> um, There's no change in it. One or, or maybe hold this for one sec. Or maybe what you would do is Do something like this. Pull, pull one off the top. Yeah, maybe you put your hand on the next one so you know you can take it off of that. And then you're like, okay, hey, I want to come off of this one now, so I'm gonna put my hand on this one and take it off of that one. Or if it was under load, it'd be too hard just to pop one off, huh? Yeah, yeah, without it going. <laughs> I think it would be. But yeah, so that's what I played out in my head is that if I was gonna do it again, I would block off the next piece, you know? and then bam, take it off of that so it can't slip out midline all at once. All right. So luckily I already had the thing like hanging on the ground, but it, I mean, you know, it could be bad if like somebody's oh, yeah. foot was under a log or something and you're learning about it right then and there, you might go <laughs> and yeah. break some bones on the foot. But actually it's super nice, super smooth, pretty cool. Okay. But that was just one little learning curve thing I noticed with it. Maybe cut them Hosanna size when you, uh... Okay. I think it's a little windy. There it is.
we'll just get this thing on the ground and then, and then we can worry about getting cleaned up. I'll be able to pull it out here. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. Make sure that rigging rope doesn't get away from you. I don't want it coming all the way back to the block to I'm ready to You got it on the ground? Okay. I have a, a little bit of a, of kind of a boom out. It's just a minor amount, but it's going to keep the up higher near the edge of the bank. Hey, what's up YouTube? You're wondering why this yellow saw? Well, they got a hold of me, emailed me and asked me if I'd try it. And I said, yeah, but no guarantees I'll like it. You know, you, you wanna be concerned if they're just trying to buy an opinion. And they gave me some things to say and talking points and stuff. And I said, no, things to say, no talking points. They said, okay, we understand. And then a while later, another rep said where do you want us to send it so so with no contract i'll use it and i'll give my opinion but really what it's mostly about here is trying not to raise the eyebrows of the neighbors here in fire season so we're going to try to do this whole tree with battery saw i'll probably run out of dewalt batteries this is the first time i've ever used it i don't know but it stands to reason that i will and then I'd like you to make your own opinions about it. I'll, I'll say a couple of things. I guess it's easier to talk about the things I don't like. I don't like the trigger. It has the safety catch on the trigger that's pretty annoying. It's not as powerful as the Milwaukee. I can tell that right away. But it's, it's more aesthetically pleasing than, than the Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really am just gonna use whatever batteries I got today so that the neighbors don't hear a chainsaw and get worried about it and then you guys make your your own opinions none of these companies pay me to do anything but that said I also don't mind saying what I like thanks to them accepting my terms I can also say what I don't like because one little top handle is a small price to pay for a lot of exposure I think so this tree is out over this glass um, sunroom here and it's reasonably it's not super complicated but it's a pain to get it out to the back from the backyard to the front so we're just going to rig it down we'll probably use some speed line slings and rig it down in bundles once i get it clear of all these other trees and i don't, I don't know what else to say to you uh, thanks for being here and let's do this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, probably about six on, so I can just cut them. We'll go into the line. Those guys have that jailbreak lowering device down there. And then I can give them the whole bundle at once uh, without a bunch of separate occasions and um, they'll tip them in there maybe you guys have all seen this before okay.
And here comes the last one. That's a pretty healthy bundle, huh? That's probably more, well, more than that would be too much. See, that's, that's a steep bank going down there. So getting them all deliberately right up here on the bank, still a long ways out. They still have to go down this trail, out through the skinnies, over the river and through the woods to the grandmother's Arthur, chipper. I asked, I said it will be the last time you use your legs. Odd, my mother. He blinks at me, frowns. What's odd? You sound like a girl. Jovially, and he slowly brings a flagon of wine to his lips. Some of it took more than a mile above the sky to fall on my armor. It drips down the road, but blood. I suppose we ought to give them a shower. Pax booms. Pax and I share a real grin. It's a compliment of sorts that they would all come to what? Then Neptune. Her trident headdress wobbling as she swallows a quail. I'm ready when you guys are. But uh, I can wait. Just tell me when you're ready. So the saw feels. Like I love it for what I'm getting done, but it feels a little sluggish. Yeah, the chain is not tight, but it sounds like it's tight. Kind of a, a feel. All right, I'm about to send the last one to you. Pretty good sized bundle. Being careful next to the rigging rope. All right, that's all of them. I can't help but feeling a little like, what's the word? arrogant and judgy when I talk about these saws like I'm some kind of big you know I'm not I'm a dude running a battery saw and they send me battery saws because they want the exposure but it's still a cool tool you know it's not a, a 200t it's not a, the Husky battery saw is the best one in my opinion. It's the most sleek, uh, best engineered, most powerful for its weight. But you know, all these saws, I suppose there's more. There's there's the Echo, there's the e Ego or Ergo or something like that. There's others. Anyway, you gotta admit, pretty nifty tools when all of these suburban people think that their neighbor is out with a drill somewhere no reason to be alarmed no fire danger no flame throwing uh spark spitting exhaust so i mean I, i'm a battery saw fan for a lot of reasons if i was going into battle i would take a gas saw but i'm just trying to I'm just feeling a little self-conscious about saying I like it or I don't like it because why should you care? But I do. I like them all though. So that sounds like a waffly politician, doesn't it?
But it's not. It's me actually saying what I feel and refusing to take the deals where they make me say something. So, hope it helps you. I don't know what they cost or I'd let you compare that. But get on Google, you could probably see. Okay, am I helping? I don't know. So, think about it. Nobody knows we're here, the none of the neighbors. Well, there is a chipper out there. But that is a very quiet chipper as far as chippers go. Jeff's down there using the Milwaukee battery saw. I'm up here with this one. And we're in a professional setting, so we're getting by with it. There are people heavily opinionated in the professional and non-professional uh, demographics who think you're a sellout if you use a battery. And then there's those, I think a little crazier even, <laughs> that think you're saving the world if you use a battery. For us, it's just another tool and they have pros and cons. So, am I overstating it all? Okay, that's a good point. If you get used to a, a gas saw working above you, you know when to move out of the way because you're used to that sound. And yeah, but a battery saw doesn't make the same noise. Although I do think you can hear it. I'm ready if you guys want to take another bundle. Mm, good point. Damien says, if you're by the chipper, you might not hear the battery saw. Or if there's a guy on the ground near you running a gas powered saw, you might not hear the battery saw. So when you're working below saws in general, you don't just go on sound. You use your eyeballs and watch for sawdust and things like that to falling. Last one. That's all of it. Still only used one bar of the battery. That's impressive. Trying to be careful I don't spit the little notch out onto that glass. Alright, I got the top on for you. I'm hooking it up now. Yep. Alright, it's ready. You can run a little bit without hitting the glass, eh? Oh, you think I say unnecessary things? <laughs> yeah, that, was, that felt great. Good job. I don't want to bump these little notches and have them go on that glass over there. 
Maybe way out there would be good. So for those armchair experts that want to know, why don't we just fall it? Or why don't we just jump the logs down there? Because that's a steep hill you can't tell from above. But we have to carry it all up and out. So that's why we're rigging it here. Was that insulting? I'm sorry. thought it would be heavier well you know the first rule in tree work Damien do you no <laughs> you guys are you guys are ganging up on me it's look up the next one will be about that long only a bit heavier Okay, so that was actually pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna drop a little face cut. I was, I was laying on it pretty hard and I wasn't stopping the chain, so. That's, that's interesting. Like, it doesn't have as much low end torque as some of them but it has power with, with the RPMs up. Jaden's at home sick with a fever right now. That's the way it is with kids, you, you got a few. You never know which one's next for some kind of bug to be getting them. Is this one gonna be a little smoother, Damien? Yeah? You ready? Still a little bit jarry. It probably went a long ways and then slammed. It was nice looking though, the way it went, went out. Headache. Sorry, my camera lens is all dirty earlier and I just noticed I fixed it. I hope it's better. All right, it's on. not too bad I must say it's that's acceptable down to one bar on this first battery start to feel the cowboy boot inadequacy on spurs negative rigging
That looked good. Now uh, base tie that. Right. So our, our rigging line goes through that retrievable rigging that we just set in the adjacent tree so that the rigging line will be going through that ring up there instead of rubbing on the bark of the adjacent tree even though he'll probably have us cut it down later. But that's not the current plan, so I'll try not to hurt it. Which means I won't be negative rigging these pieces. It'll be less dynamic. I'm on one bar, so it'll be a battery change after this cut if I even get through it. Okay. It's doing that thing that the Makita does. No. Yeah, the sensor thing. Yeah, so if the chain is going slow, it, it it doesn't have a lot of initial torque. It's powerful when the when the chain's spinning faster, but I kind of want power right away, like the Milwaukee. Ready for it? Butter. Wasn't that nice? Yeah, we could have stand it right into the dollar bin. The summary of this is all I'm using this and I like my audience to decide what they think of it rather than um, lead anyone any direction because I like to be able to say whatever I think. And I think it has its place. All the battery saws do. I think this one, the trigger safety thing is annoying. I think it's pretty heavy, but I got through the whole tree clear to here with this saw only. And I think that gives it credibility in a, in a real work setting. Milwaukee also gets that credibility because they have more power. Like this has power in the cut if you keep the RPMs up. If you keep uh, the chain speed up, it it's hogging through that pretty good I think you'd agree the Milwaukee though has more power right away nope need a new battery I, I don't no, I never saw the DeWalt one on the so the Husky now battery I'd say is a lot more pro than the other two. It's power right away. It's just a more engineered, polished machine. That's a hefty one. Pretty gentle. No damage to the cedar, I like it. We're going to this off when we get that out of the way. Um, we can set it here. Right. Later. Okay, hold on it. Hold it there. I'm gonna Is that rake going to be okay? Okay. Like it. I feel so much more real than battery. Yeah. Why do we bother? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>